Hi, this is James Walsh from Star Sailor, and you're listening to the Liverpool Connection podcast. Hey, everyone. Thank you again for joining us for another episode of the Liverpool Connection podcast. This is Pub Chat. We're at our favorite Irish pub here in Austin, Texas, BD Riley's. We got the whole gang here. Daz is down here. No, we're missing one. Oh, yeah. We're missing Wee Glenn, but we have Julian. Uh, Del Cross is here. And before we kick it off, I want to... Um, say thank you to BD Rallies. We may be able to bring you guys better sound quality and picture quality. Can't guarantee that the content is going to be better, but hopefully the sound will be better. I'll tell you what, the microphones are much better. Thank you, BD Rileys, for um, taking care of business, getting, a mic- getting extra microphones for us, camera. I mean, we're in the big time now. Yeah. We made it. <laughs> We made it. We have an OnlyFans kicking off next week. Wilson is going to be on the first episode, so get excited. Yeah, first and last. Anyway, hey, it's always good to, for everybody to be here at the at the pub. A great victory today, four one over Luton at home. You know, keeping um, keeping the pace with the Man City, obviously, are are chasing us. But a vital win. We had so many injuries, Del Cross, coming into today. I mean, you look at the lineup. You look at the bench. And and my and my son could have made the team today. He's like he's about yeah. he's older than somebody that was on the bench today. Yeah, no, it was incredible. Uh, I said it a few days. We're, we're in a, obviously in a group chat together and texting back and forth during the game. And I said it a few times. Like, you know, we're missing missing five players that would start for any Premier League side that would walk into that any 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 side in the Premier League that walk in. We're not missing them. You know, it's not five that we've missed over a period of time we're missing these five all at the one time at a vital period of of the season and man the fucking performance of that second half was just unbelievable Uh, and to do that without like Allison, without fucking Sabas like Salah Nunes Trent Trent Jota like Jota like these aren't lads that you know are in or around the squad these are you know, fully fledged starters that would, you know, arguably, you know, Allison is literally the first name in the fucking team sheet. Like, so I just think I, 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 I sense myself getting a little bit frustrated. You're one nil down in the first half, and you're kind of getting a little bit fucking antsy, and you're getting a bit impatient. And I just had to check myself at one point and go, Jesus Christ, give them a break. We're missing five fucking lads, and then Klopp gets them in at half time and fucking they, they were just let's excellent uh, in the second half. Let's celebrate that because that second half was fucking outstanding, yeah. right? Whatever that, that he said. That second half was whatever, unbelievable. Whatever he said. Like, every single player was magnificent. That, that, that first half was, you know, we did all right. We played well. I didn't think we played bad. We created plenty of chances. But, and, it wasn't just, and the fans were quiet as well. And you saw Klopp halfway through the first half having a go at someone in the main stand. But whatever he said at halftime, Second half, we came out and it was magnificent. It really was, and we uh, we were quicker to every ball. There was more energy. We were more direct. Um, Bradley was unbelievable. Second half, Elliot was unbelievable. Second half, Gakpo was brilliant. Like stepped magnificent, up. stepped up, magnificent which, second half. Which is what we want from this team, isn't it? Um, every team has injuries. You know, like we can moan, moan and whinge every day of the week every team has injuries we just have a lot but I'm just amazed at how how the squad especially the young players I mean throwing these young lads in it, uh, and, and they're playing like they played for Liverpool for years and that, that it reminds me of 2019 it's the, the belief t- the togetherness of this team they'll, the do, they'll the... run through a fucking brick wall for Klopp again yep yeah, I, t- I honestly think, and you know what, we'll, we'll, we'll obviously talk about this in the future, um, but I think that's going to be part of Klopp's legacy that he leaves behind. You can see now, you just said it, young lads are coming in, 17, 18 years of age, and stepping in, and it's like they've played, they've been playing for four or five years with the team. It's just seamless. Like, Con- like Connor Bradley, like, is unbelievable now granted you can nitpick there was a couple of things maybe even today where you can really nitpick and go well he can do that better yeah of course he can he's fucking 19 whatever he's a, he's a pup but 
his output at the minute is just absolutely off the fucking charts. It's, to me, it's like the YTS scheme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going back. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. but I mean, you're, you're, you're getting experience yeah. doing the actual fucking work. Yeah. And Bradley, just like Trent did yeah. when he, he got pushed into the Man United game yeah. years ago. Yeah. It's so funny to say years ago and Trent's, what, 25? Yeah. But Bradley's the same. He's been pushed into that position because of the injury to Trent mm-hmm. and then the injury to Robbo and Simicas. We've got Robbo, you know, was out. So... You had Gomez stepping in. But Bradley has not put a foot wrong. Unbelievable. But he's going to learn. I mean, he's, he's fucking amazing. He, he's actually amazing. I can't, I can't use enough words to describe the lad. But he's, he's come in and he's done the job. Yeah. It's workman like. Love it. Go on. Well, no, but uh, well, I was just wanting to just add because. Bradley, it's such a great story. But, you know, he did play 50 games. He was player of the year last year yeah, for both, right? Yeah. Kwanzaa, we well, was playing, what, third, third tier last year. It was nowhere on anybody's radar. And he steps in, he's played uh, right center back, left center back, and he hardly puts a foot wrong. He's only 20 as well. And he's, and he's taken up so many important minutes on this team. Yeah. And But like you said, it's so exciting. The legacy when he Cloud leaves is that there's – the academy is full of talent. It's so amazing. full of talent. Um, on that point, with Kwanzaa, actually, you know, last season, no one really knew. You know, even in preseason, it's like, okay, who's this player? What's going to... And then the club had such confidence. Klopp, the coaching staff, had such confidence that we don't need another centre-back. And everyone, everyone's asking, hey, we need probably another centre-back as backup, right? It's very like, we need one, but... Kwanzaa comes in and he's he looks like he's been there for years. He's so comfortable. He's 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 got a great cool, cool pass on him. Ball. He can bring he's the cool ball forward. Ball. He had a little matchup he's, in him today, didn't he? He's fantastic he's fantastic at anticipating. I mean he is essentially a mini Virgil. He's he's yeah. he reminds me completely of him, which makes complete sense when you're training with him every single day. But um, he, he's been magnificent. And you look at the players on the pitch at the end of the game. Today, you had McConnell, you had Kwanzaa, you had Elliot, Clark, you had Dan's, Dan's, Dan's yeah. Clark, you had uh, love, love you the had Clark. Hair, right? He looks a player though. I didn't get to, we didn't get to see a whole heck of a lot of them today, but the little glimpses there, you, you can tell that, 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 that pass, guy, that, that pass guy he did play. Was, yeah. was spot on. But what, I, what I loved yeah. about Danzo was when he fell over. That just showed the occasion was probably a bit too much for him. But again. Klopp's giving these academy players because if you're an academy player and you're watching Trent you're watching Bradley you're watching McConnell get the call up you're going on that uh, I work my socks off on Dan's again you see when Rob Edwards the Luton manager came on the pitch at the end brilliant and he said what he said to Klopp and him was that he played with Dan's dad Right. That's right, yeah. and, he, and he's like, oh, maybe your dad. And he's a class act, actually. Rob Edwards, the loot manager. <laughs> yeah. And what you said at the end of the game, the press conference, oh, about the cop like, sucking the ball into the net. Yeah, very good, but brilliant win. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, I wanted to go back to the the changes at, in the second half. And we were watching the match, and, you know, we didn't play badly in that first half. We had chances. Diaz probably could have had a hat trick that first half. He would just make better decisions. And obviously we missed the Nunez up top because he mm-hmm. he can be shown he can be even with somebody and then within two steps he has a yard in yep. front of him and Diaz and Gapco can't do that right but the second half and, and we've won so many points from losing positions I mean we lead the league by far but there's a belief in this team and a chemistry like you guys are saying that man he pushed Bradley was definitely higher up the pitch he did he in did. the second half and Elliot actually came a little bit inside and I think Elliot was a little bit too wide first half but second half like Bradley was like 10-15 yards higher up the pitch he got Elliot more involved Elliot sorry in the middle as well you know El- Elliot started on the right wing right but yeah he hardly played there I mean for a lot of the game he looked like a 10 he was just well that's know, his natural right right but I'm just saying yeah he, he looked more like a, a 10 he was in the midfield yeah. more than he was up, up front so <laughs> But brilliant win. Um, well, happy. All, all the goals were really good as well. Yeah. You know, yeah. um, I, I, for Verge to get that first goal, it's a captain's goal, isn't it? It's a good old header. That. I love oh, it. Yeah. The little it's, uh, knee slide, and then it's like, 
let's go. Yeah. We're winning this. Yeah. Yeah. And that's that's again the man mentality of this team. It's not like let's fucking throw our shirt off, you know, run into the fucking crowd. No, let's get back to the halfway line, yeah. put the damn ball back yeah. on the spot. And but you, you knew as soon as we got that first goal, there was more goals yeah. coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we were knocking on the door in the first half. It was just the finishing that was shite. I mean, it was. Uh, Diaz should have had a hat trick. I mean, that ball from Keller was brilliant. I'm, I'm a bit like Kelleher's ball distribution wasn't very good today. Yeah. You know, I, I loved the lot. It, but again, I think we're also many, spiked, all right, because we probably have one of the best fucking ball distributors in goals. See, I think too many <laughs> so people. You it's know, like you know, we we kind of look at some of these things and kind of. You know, we have a very skewed. Vision he's a fantastic. Of, Keller yeah. is a fantastic backup. But he is, he is a backup to yeah. one of the best, if not the best, goalkeeper in, in the, the world. world. Yeah. And Keller is young. I mean, there's plenty to come from him. I think he could have done a little bit better with the goal that Luton scored. Um, his kicking can be improved, but he's brilliant. I mean, we probably have the best backup keeper. And but that, that takes him Europe, playing. Really. Yeah. And I think yeah. with, with Alisson out, 100%. it'll give him the confidence. 100%. And that's why, you know, when you said, who, who's the one that said, play Adrian for the FA Cup? Adrian, <laughs> I just don't want Keller. Well, it was me. I just don't want Keller to get injured knowing how. Like, you know, oh, in the FA Cup. Yeah, yeah. Well, I could go with that. Uh, yeah, I see, could go with that. Hey, I priorities. Uh, yeah, I know. Right now, I don't want Keller to get injured. I like him on the on the sidelines as cheerleader. Yeah, that's about it. Don't get me wrong. So do I. I just. I just if, think if Allison is and out, so he, if, if Allison out is out to the end of March, then I would be slightly tempted to give Adrian a, a go in the FA Cup. But anyway, talking about cups, we should probably move on to the League Cup final oh, this yes. Sunday against nasty, nasty West London Chelsea boys. It's not going to be. What are you thinking? It's not going to be nil nil. Not this time around. Yeah, it might. It could be. But well, it is now, isn't it? Yeah, we yeah, just said, said that. It. <laughs> yeah. well, well done. We'll, 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 we'll show up for penalties. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Penalties. We'll get like, you yeah, know, We'll get, we'll get a, we'll get a cut penalties. down the pub. Yeah. Yeah. So the, the main the main target point right going into Sunday is who's, who's playing? Is who's playing? <laughs> yeah. Right. Where <laughs> where Salah and Nunez yeah. really rested today for precaution, or are they really injured and we're, they're not going to feature on Sunday? Because that that's really going to be the question. My bet is the rested. My Precaution. Yeah. 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 I, I would have thought I, that. I, I think if he would have played Sunday. somebody in the top six, I think one of them would have played. Yeah. But yeah. because it's Luton, no disrespect, you know, we, we should be yeah. beating yeah. teams yeah. like Luton yeah. at home. And I just think it, it's precautionary. Um, you know, maybe Mo or Nunez, one of them will start. I mean, we'll see on, on, on Sunday. I, I just think they're rested. And, uh, but uh, midfield for me, you got to start the same midfield that started today. Well, there's no one else, is Yeah, I know. <laughs> I think, so, like I think, I think you, yeah, I think the only other um, possibility with that is if Salah starts, you could potentially have Elliot in midfield instead of grabbing Birch. Right, That's the right. only, but that would be the only change maybe could happen. But um, other than that, I think I think the team pretty much picks itself for Speaking the Speaking of that midfield, how fucking good is Endo? And very how good. wrong was I at the very beginning? I'm man enough to say Well come come on. I was like, too quick to judge. Holy fuck. I Endo I, my friend. I think we've all done that though, Chris. Brilliant. We've all we've all gone like brilliant. you know that there's C Casado was out there, you know, we bid for him. Lavia was a, another one who hasn't fucking kicked a ball at Chelsea. Yeah. Yeah. Long may it continue. But Endo was on nobody's lips, no, 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 and you know, it was I think kind of a scary moment for a, a Liverpool fan. Is like, do we end up with another Brazilian that doesn't kick the fucking ball? Arthur, Arthur, Arthur. Arthur. Yeah. you know, and I think that's where. And people nowadays look at, oh, he's only 15, 16 mil. He's got to be shite. Yeah. But it's, he's it's, the captain of Japan for a reason. He, he, was he, was loved, of uh, he was loved reason. at Stuttgart. Like the players, the fans adored him. And it's twofold now as well, because now what, what's able to happen is you're able to push McAllister up into what is yeah. possibly his best position as well. Right? And Endo has, uh, Endo has got better the longer you know, he's been at the club. And he's only been at you know, the club for, what, six, seven months? 
a one It does. The different job. culture. Yeah. It's, That's what it's you want difficult. from a DM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just yeah, love how simple he keeps things. Mm -hmm. Gets the fucking ball, gets in the way, gets the ball, gives it to the good lads. And, like, I, I, I just... It's, it's helping Maka massively. He's very it's, good. And you know with Endo, he it's also... the mouth guard that yeah. likes it. And Endo, he passes the ball forward. He progresses the ball. It, it's not... He doesn't hold the ball very long. No. And it's like... It, it's... It's a different style, right? Because yeah, it's six, eight yard passes. He's, he's like on he gets half, it. He's bang. on the half turn and it's already yeah. going. I, I really like. I really like that, what he's doing. That pass, actually, on the Loon game again. That pass that he made over to uh, Diaz in the yeah. first up, world class. Yeah. That was. Yeah, was, that well, was it's, pass. It's, it's giving Maka yeah. time to yeah. roam, yeah. to to play his his preferred position. I mean, you, you you can just see it. You know how how he looks happier. Um, but you know, uh, you got to start with that midfield. I would think. Yeah, I, um, I, I, I would say Graven Burst would probably start again. And I thought I thought he played really well in the last two games. Yeah, Brentford he came on for what 35 minutes. Yeah, I thought he played really well. I think and he gets. Luton. He get when you have Endo and McAllister in the same team. I think it gives Gravenberg a little bit more freedom mm -hmm. as well to go forward, where it was different because he was playing alongside McAllister and Soboslai as well, which meant Gravenberg had to be slightly more disciplined. Yep. I think now he has a little bit more freedom to get forward, which just possibly suits him a lot better. You know, well. he has a turn on him. He's like Gap Gapko and him. They're very similar in the way they turn with that ball in the midfield. You know, he has a good turn on him. It's, it's him having to learn the decision-making part. The yep. man, the talent is there in a full, well, full preseason next year. Well, again, only 21. Yeah. So you, there's room to grow. I mean, I wish he could grow under clock because, you know, the arm around you going, it's all right, son, we make mistakes, we'll get on with it. I'm still hoping Klopp maybe at the last minute like, changes his mind. You watch we, him we today. All do. At we the, all do. You watch him today at the end and he's just like... When he's at all... Come on. For, yeah, I Come mean, on. That, you don't want to get I do sad. too, but I won't Come be on. able for it. I wouldn't be able for it. I wouldn't be able for a second goodbye. It was sad enough that the first day. I woke up and fucking phone was blowing up six o'clock in the morning. First text message you get from one of the lads is, geez, that's terrible news to wake up to. <laughs> I thought somebody had died at home. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I'm rooting through the phone and I'm like, holly. It was, no it was stuff, worse. It? It, was it was worse terrible. than somebody dying at home. It was, it was, it was gone. Was, it was bad. Well, so. We don't yeah. have to think about that for like three months. So yeah. the, our first final, hopefully, of the season of many finals but um, what about Chelsea like who, who's they're hitting a bit of form aren't they they are they're, 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 they played well against City I mean Palmer I like Palmer yeah. I think he's a good good young player um, en Enzo seems to be playing a lot better yeah. uh, but it, it looks like Pochettino is, is keeping the same team now he's found he's them letting them He's changed a couple of things. He's found the setup in the past. I think it's three or four games, and he's moved. It looks like he's moved Casado and Enzo closer together yeah. in the midfield as well. And he's got this front three. You know, he's got rid of the Modric, Emdrik, whatever he's called, the Ukrainian. He's you know, he's put him to the bed, Mudric. Yeah, and he's been playing um, Gallagher kind of in the middle, like a false nine. And then he's got Palmer on the right. And then he's at Jackson as well. And then he's been changing in the second half, bringing on um, and Cuckoo and as well too. and Sterling. So there is that. There is a potential that he's going to start and Cuckoo because he's been slowly pushing him into yeah, games. Who is a very, very good player. But um, it's definitely going to be. It's going to be a lot more difficult than it would have been a couple of months ago. Mm -hmm. And it's never easy against Chelsea. Um, they look stronger at the back as well um, with our injuries than. It's yeah, it's a, it's a really tough game to call. I, this I, one. I so here's my take, and I think I kind of agree with you. I think it's going to be a more difficult game in terms of breaking them down and us scoring. I don't see them giving us much trouble uh, in attack, but I do I do feel we will have our work. Our work will be a little bit more difficult to go and break them down and score score against them. The old, the old saying. I think here, I think the first goal is going to be vital. I think if we can score early, we'll we'll win. I think we'll win pretty comfortably. But I think the longer the game goes on, nil all, or if they were to sneak one, sneak one early, if we don't fucking get there, all guns blazing. I think then we could, you know, we we'd make it difficult for ourselves. But I just don't see them having enough 
up front to really bother us uh, if everything goes according to plan for Liverpool. Would you... I, I, I mean, today Bradley came off what, halfway through the second half. I would expect... Bradley to start. Oh, Bradley? it's he. I, the I option think is the, what Bradley or Gomez. Really I think the first right eight. Back. I think the first eight yeah. are picked. Yeah. Right. I think Keller will be in goals. Bradley will be right back. Mm-hmm. Virgil, Canate, and Robbo. Mm-hmm. I think, and then the midfield, the three lads to start today: Endo, uh, Gravenberg, and um, and Maka. And then up front, it's just going to depend on whether Salah Nunes are fit. Yep. But in saying that, I really feel sorry for Gapo, right? Because if the two lads are fit, he'll probably start Diaz, Nunes, and Salah. And I think Gapo can really feel hard done by because I think he was really, really good today. And he's been decent fairly consistently. But he could be vital coming in off the bench if the you, two lads are fit. You could say the same for Gomez as yeah, well. Yeah. If he I was going to say Gomez. I feel yeah. bad for Gomez. Yeah. He <laughs> is. <laughs> Yeah, I mean that, that that that's that, that that's yeah. that that's fair. Uh, I just think with Robbo not starting today and Gomez, Gomez played the full Ooh. ninety, didn't he? He took off Bradley he, and he did, yeah, and he switched I, from I think left. That kind Gomez of with the winner. Well, I think he's going to save that for the last day of the season, isn't he? Oh, well, I, I hope we've got it sewn up before then, mate. <laughs> Fucking last day jitters and all that there. I mean, it, it's going to be tough against Chelsea. They always give us, you know. A, a, you saw the start of the season, and then when we played them again, they're, they're a tough side. Doesn't it, form goes out the window yeah. with, with these teams? They're, I just think we have too much for them. E- even even with the, the the players that played today, I still think we, we we can can do them. I just think they're that, like you said. I just don't think they have enough in the tank. It's yeah. funny when you think about. Um, when you think about, oh, hold on, we have a special guest okay, that's coming special in. Special guest, come, come on, on, come on, special come on, guest, come on, come on, come on, right here, baby. Uh, l- 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 right yeah, look who's shown up. There he is. We uh, glass, we the full it. team. There he is. To the camera. Right Unlike to the Liverpool, camera, we've the full team this. out tonight. <laughs> Where you been? Uh, What's going on? You're late again. Awesome traffic. Can't hear him. Give him the mic. Give him the mic. Yeah, I've been coaching. I'm nice. So anyway, where are we? We're talking about the the Chelsea the final the weekend. Yeah. Let me get a drink then. Yeah, go on, man. You get a drink. Yeah, we'll be we'll be done by the time you get back. It's thanks, right. <laughs> thanks for messing the episode up. <laughs> it's funny though when you think about finals, and if you think about, we played a lot of finals, but we don't generally play well over ninety minutes in finals. We don't dominate teams. And there was a conversation on one of the Liverpool forums the other day, and I think we had to go back to the seventy-seven, the, the, the Liverpool Newcastle FA Cup final three, and for the last time, we dominated. The final with that, there was a Sunderland Bolton. We played really well, but generally our finals. Well, they're cagey oh, affairs, they're aren't cagey. they? I think, I think probably most teams would probably say the same. They're cagey affairs. It's, uh, it's. We have moments here and there, like second half against Everton, '86. We were magnificent. Second half against AC Milan, we were magnificent. But I mean, circling back, it's going to be cagey. It's going to be difficult. It might be settled by the odd goal. It might go to penalties. I mean, you know, we're playing against Chelsea, a billion-dollar team, and this is the only trophy they're going to play for all season. So, I mean, you know, they're get, they'll be up for it. Would they, if they, if let's say Chelsea win, right? Shut your mouth. That gets them into the Conference League, doesn't it? I believe. And then they get into the Europa Conference League. Well, but they which, even which want messes, to be in now. Which messes with their spending as well. It's actually better for them to lose the game because apparently the spending or what they earn getting into that tournament actually negates Glenn. the spending. Glenn. So you ask for a Guinness and cider for me. Please. So thanks babe. What are you thinking? Predictions. 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 Oh jeez. Chris. Uh, I think Liverpool will win. I think Liverpool will win uh, by the odd goal. I think we'll win 1-0. And I'm going to go with my man, Mohamed Salah, to score the winner for Liverpool. I think we're going to win 3-1. I think we will win 2-1. And Daz doesn't do predictions. 
Well, let's say you had to. No, let's not. <laughs> I, I just know we're going to win. Yeah, we're going to win. Um, what? What? Is this the tenth? If we win this, will it be the tenth time? Because we've won the league, the league cup. cup. I'd have to check. Yeah, nine or ten. Might be ten. I think so. You're the yeah. man. Well, uh, Stato, Stato left the building. He's he's been at the pub all day, so <laughs> he has. You know. Hey, uh, Glenn, come here, come here. So, prediction predictions. Wise. What do you think oh, for? You have predictions already, or yeah? Yeah, go on. What do you think? Um, and I'll, um, I'll go. If Nunes and Salah are playing, but like the way the way it's gone at the minute, I know now. We'll, we'll probably get two more injuries tomorrow, and we're gonna have fucking Alan Kennedy playing left back or something. Um, I don't know, it's a hard one here. It's really hard one. I, I think positivity. Relax, we'll deep breath. Nil. I think we'll win 2-0, cool. I think. But I, I don't think it'll be I don't think it'll be an easy 2-0. I think it'll be a bit of a grind. I think it might be like uh, Tottenham in the final. Sort of like we might score and then it'll be an absolute dog of a game. I was being a tune about this before, you may have mentioned it already if I have apologised, but like finals usually are pretty shit, aren't they, for Liverpool? Yeah. So I, I I think it'll be a really shit. 2-0 <laughs> but like we'll yeah, take it I think that's I mean. not bad yeah, I'll that's take a I'm shit 2-0 yeah 100% <laughs> well there you are man, with the, the, the projections well, um, you know the last time we played Chelsea in League Cup Kelleher was between the, the pipes so he yeah he yeah scored a goal as well scored the winner didn't he that's right yeah I think he scored the winner didn't he I, I, I hope that we don't go 11, it 11 spot it's kicks in you know I want, I'd second, rather win well, it the, the, the dodgy keeper the dodgy keeper missed didn't he yeah Kepka. <laughs> Kepka. yeah yeah no, but it's great to be back at Anfield South though um, get the job done Sunday like I said first silverware of the season um, which is more than what a lot of people thought at the beginning of the season with a whole new midfield and losing oh. the key players that we did. I didn't have us in a final. <laughs> did you? We got a final, like, yeah. come on, then, didn't we? I, I just sort of go on. Lucky like, draw. Lucky draw. No, but it's more you're like, oh, another week of final, yeah? Bring the semi-finals. So, well, Wilson's basically just trying to give himself credit because at the start of the season, he said, <laughs> We've got a new midfield. So because we're in the league cup final now, we now he thinks he's right. missed. Now he thinks he's missed sick fucking Meg. The quad. No, no, I didn't. <laughs> instead, back, yeah. instead, he's septic peg. <laughs> What's your predictions for the season? We're going to win everything again. I said that for the last ten years. Well, he, he's missed the positive. Right. He is. He is. He is. I, I, so I'm going to put the kiss of death on. on the no, whole you know. Let's let's wrap this up. Well, here, I just cannot see us getting beaten on Sunday. Oh, I just Jesus. can't. <laughs> Or come down the pub with us. We have a lot of injuries, so we'll, 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 I, I don't we'll care. We'll I just, celebrate I, I together. Just, there's something. There's something. Of, I don't know. I, I, I just feel. There's something that the cup wants you to. I don't know. I, I just can't see us getting beaten on. on, on I know how you I feel because, like, when we played Spurs in the Champions League final, I said it to, to you, others. We're winning this. Yeah. You, you kind of have a feeling, like. I, d I just think we're too strong for Chelsea. Yeah, I, just I do. I, I, I'm the same. I, I said it earlier. I think they don't have enough going forward to beat us. I think w what will make the game difficult for us is us breaking them down and scoring. And I think if we can do that early, I think we'll win. We'll win handy enough. But I think it'll be a cagey yeah, affair. I'm getting more nervous now. It's something that Chris Douglas wants to know. It's a big, it's a big ass, it's a big ass well, question, well, we're, we're going to be down the pub. BD Riley's nice and early on Sunday. Um, and I think Julian's going to kind of do a uh, fan cam, um, maybe. Fan cam. Fan, fan cam. In the pub's <laughs> toilet. Bloody hell, that could be... Um, the <laughs> fan cam. <laughs> <laughs> but it's going to be a good day out, you know, especially topped off with uh, winning. You know, hoisting the first silverware. Have lots of, lots of bevies and just uh, enjoy the day. That's all you can do. And uh, the first of many, hopefully. All right, lads. Yeah. Get in. Go. Come on. Let's go. First trophy of the season. You want to end it, Steve? Oh, yes. It's always good to be back here at the pub. But you guys um, like our page, put on your notifications, tell your friends, subscribe. And um, until next time, we'll see you. Cheers.